Hello, we are Team Wattwise. Currently, solar energy contributes less than 1% of Aotearoa's total energy generation, a modest 430 gigawatt hours annually. Imagine if we gave residential solar installations a bit of a push, not just a gentle nudge, but a full-on, let's make this happen kind of push. By subsidizing these installations, we could cut household energy costs while turning up the dial on our commitment to sustainable energy. Essentially, we'd be giving homeowners the keys to their own energy kingdom, reducing their reliance on the grid like a pro. Now, large-scale wind farms and other grid-scale renewable projects are like those mega-sized energy machines that churn out heaps of electricity, per dollar invested. But here's the catch. The bulk of these benefits end up in the pockets of big energy companies, with minimal direct impact on your average Kiwi household. Home solar systems, on the other hand, are like a personal superhero for your energy bills. They let you generate your own power and even sell any surplus back to the grid. It's like having your cake, eating it, and then selling a slice or two for a bit of extra cash. Not only does this slash your electricity bills, but it also helps decentralized energy production. Picture it, less pressure on the grid and more resilience, like giving your energy system a nice, cozy blanket. Let's break it down. The impact of residential solar subsidies. A typical New Zealand household gobbles up about 7,000 to 8,000 kilowatt hours of electricity annually. Here's how the numbers stack up. Cost of installing solar panels. Getting a solar panel system installed will set you back about $8,000 to $10,000 for a 3 to 5 kilowatt setup enough to cover most of your yearly energy needs. A 30% government subsidy would knock the cost down to around $5,600 to $7,000. Annual savings. With your own solar power plant, you could save between $1,500 and $2,000 each year on your energy bills. More money for fish and chips. Payback period. With the subsidy, you're looking at a payback period of about three to five years. After that, you're cruising on savings for the life of your solar system, which is usually around 20 to 25 years. Total savings over 20 years, by the end of it, you could pocket between $30,000 and $40,000. The impact of grid-scale wind investments. The cost of large-scale wind projects is about $2 million per megawatt. A typical 3-megawatt wind turbine cranks out around 9,000 megawatt hours annually enough to power 1,000 to 1,300 households. It's like giving a power-up to a whole neighborhood. Impact on wholesale prices. Grid-scale wind projects do help lower wholesale electricity prices, but the savings trickle down to consumers rather slowly. Expect individual household bills to drop by around $100 to $200 per year. Over 20 years, you might save about $2,000 to $4,000 from these reduced wholesale prices. This is due to the Lord of the Rings wholesale power pricing. One price to rule them all, one price to find them. One price to bring them all, and in the darkness bind them. Subsidizing home solar is like giving a high five to households everywhere. It slashes power bills and keeps the cost of living down. With around 1.7 million dwellings in Aotearoa, if 50% of them installed a 7 kilowatt hour system at $8,000 each, the total cost to the government would be around $2,400 per unit, totaling approximately $1.9 billion. That's roughly twice the cost of those fancy new Cook Strait ghost ferries. The 832,000 households could save a whopping $1.248 billion annually. Over 20 years, this delivers a capital budgeting ratio of 7.73, translating to total cost of living savings of $24.96 billion. Not too shabby. So, where is the best place to install solar? We were going to make an app for that, but in Aotearoa everywhere is a great place for solar. The basic rules are, put them on a roof facing as northwest as possible and make sure there are no shadows cast from around that area. The app is so easy it could be a picture. Thank you for this time from Team Wattwise.